Introduction to the complete and annotated edition of A Course in Miracles. A Course in Miracles has become a contemporary spiritual classic. A Course in Miracles stands by itself, not part of any larger tradition and with no centralized movement behind it. The strength of A Course in Miracles popularity can in large part be attributed to one reason, the power, the beauty, and the wisdom of its words. Since A Course in Miracles was originally published in 1976, readers have recognized in those words truths that they have never heard before, yet somewhere inside seem to have always known. As a result, these words have inspired profound and lifelong devotion in thousands of students around the world. At the heart of that devotion is the belief that those words came from beyond the human level. That rather than being conceived by Helen Shuckman, the scribe, they were received by her, perhaps from the very place they claimed to have come from, the mind of love. What students did not know for many years, however, is how much human input went into the published work. The original dictation that Helen took down was run through a lengthy editing process that produced a new version with each editing pass. And during each new editing pass, the editors apparently consulted only the most recent version rather than going back to the original. By the end of this process, roughly 45,000 words had been edited out, mostly from the first seven chapters of the text, and the wording of the first four chapters had been edited to the point where they were only about a fifth of their sentence, sentences retained their original wording. Some of this editing of the early text chapters was genuinely needed, given that some of the early material was too personal for a published edition. Indeed, Helen Shuckman received general guidelines and in regard to some passages, specific instructions for how editing was to be done. Yet the editing appears to have gone beyond what was instructed. As a result, the author's attempts to clarify his new ideas with illustrations, analogies, real-life examples, and comparisons to existing ideas were lar largely edited out. And so a vital bridge into this new and unfamiliar world of thought was essentially removed. As the earlier versions of A Course in Miracles came to light in the beginning years of the 21st century, it became clear to us that there was a need for a new edition, an edition created by going back to Helen's shorthand notebooks and then editing afresh, retaining the original words to the maximum degree possible. The complete and annotated edition then is based directly on Helen's original handwritten notes. By going back to the words that Helen Shuckman heard in her mind and wrote down in her notebooks, it attempts, this edition of a course, attempts to bring the reader into a more direct encounter with the power of those words. And so the complete and annotated edition includes either in its main body or in appendices, the approximately 45,000 words that had been removed in the original published edition. As the basis for the, this edition, we have carefully transcribed Helen's notes, which were written in a combination of shorthand and handwriting that can be difficult to read. Our transcription involved producing a key of her shorthand symbols, figuring out unclear words and reading beneath strikethroughs to detect original wording, which is sometimes preferable. Starting with an accurate transcription of Helen's notes, we then re-edited A Course in Miracles from the beginning, writes Robert Perry. Our focus on inclusion of all material has resulted in a work with a number of key features. 
The first four chapters of the text are roughly twice as long as they are in the familiar Foundation for Inner Peace version. Material whose meaning had been changed by editing is now presented in its original form. For instance, we have restored the original statement, quote, prepare you not for the undoing of what never was, which had been changed in the FIP edition to, quote, prepare you now for the undoing of what never was. Material that had been rearranged and placed in a different order by editing has in almost all cases been restored to its original order. Extensive footnotes have been included to clarify difficult passages, identify unclear pronouns, define psychological terms, point out allusions to other things in the general culture, and list course references and Bible references. 33 cameo essays have been written and are included in appendix number one. These essays comment on personal guidance given by the source of the material to the scribes Helen Shuckman and William Thetford. This guidance, while too personal for the course proper, clarifies the application of course principles to the lives of the scribes and by extension to the lives of all students. Material that never made it out of Helen's notebooks is included, such as this passage, quote, love him steadily, whatever he does, whatever he says, says, and he will see the miracle of God and you will learn of healing. If this seems hard to do, remember it is what you want of me, unquote. A teaching in this, the teaching in this edition does not contradict the teaching found in other editions of A Course in Miracles. However, we believe that this edition, through its inclusion of additional teaching and restoration of original wording and order, will allow the Course's true meaning and character to shine through a little more clearly. And we hope that this will enable students to better see the course for what it is, relate to it as it is, and apply its profound truths to their lives," writes Robert Perry.